<sighs> what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Callie and we're back with another video. Before we get started on what we're going to do today, oh man, the camera's a little bit shaky. Anyways, um, I just want to give um, an update to Ralph who requested to do a battery repair on one of the previous repair guides. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to find um, that phone where we can do a repair guide. We even called our previous customer and offered them a um, courtesy battery change so we can do um, a repair guide video for you. But unfortunately, the customer wasn't in the area anymore, so we couldn't do that for you. Um, what we can do is we created a form on Google. So I'll put the link down below. So what you can do is you can go in there submit on what the repair guide you want and what it is that you need or if you want the repair done by one of our technicians and you can give us all of that information down below um, <clears throat> unfortunately some of the devices like in that case it's very hard to find one on ebay that would be worth purchasing and refurbishing to do a repair guide and then later sell it so we weren't able to to get one for you but if you have a device that you would like to repair or get a repair guide for, we will happily try our best to do that for you. Now, let's get into this video. This video is not about the desktop that you see here, though it does have to do with um, CPU. So let's just say you got a brand new AMD processor, whether it's the Ryzen or um, any of the previous models, and then you go to remove the heat sink or the CPU cooler and this happens so we're going to address that today what to do when the cpu gets stuck to the cpu cooler so first of all what you want to do if if this does happen what you want to check is to make sure that all the pins are nice and straight because depending on how when you unhook this and you pull this out sometimes if you pull straight up you'll be lucky like with this one that they're all straight if you pulled it up kind of like sideways or to the side then some of the edge pins will get bent and you're gonna have to bend that back and you gotta be really careful so you don't break them so how to get this off the easiest way possible so there's actually two ways to get this off pretty easily what I would always recommend so this doesn't happen is you run your computer, run it a benchmark so it gets hot enough, and then you just let it sit for a bit and then you remove it. That way the uh, thermal paste doesn't get stuck like that and then you have to deal with this issue. So the first method, or the, one of the most popular method, is dental floss. And we didn't go buy it out and buy this we actually had this in the shop because we use it fairly often around here so what you do is you take a little bit of your um, dental floss and you kind of you know the same way that you would do with your teeth is the way that you would do this so you would start off in one of the corners like that and then start working your way and I'll do that in a minute but the other thing that you would want to do is most of these fans have four screws so you can just go ahead and take off four screws and then you have a heat gun or a hair dryer go ahead and heat this up for a bit so you can get this thermal paste to heat up to a point where it won't stick or it won't be a huge of a problem to remove it if someone tells you to use pliers or tweezers or anything like that to remove this you better smack them across the face. So what you want to do is you go ahead and you start at the corner and you got to make sure you get underneath the processor. Um, that is a lot easier said than done because it's the majority of the time it's really stuck on there. So you just kind of have to keep going until you get some some on there so see there I was barely able to get it on there so now let's see see if the camera will focus enough 
<clears throat> so it is under there. So now I'm just gonna go back and forth. And by the way, this is, that'll be pretty tedious task because you have to go back and forth. Okay. Oh, wow. that was actually a lot easier than some of the other ones. So as you can see, this one was pretty bad around the edges, but it wasn't as bad in the middle. That's why it came off pretty easily. So, uh, you know, just wanted to do a quick short video for you guys, letting you know how to get this off and about the repair form that we just created down in the link below and either myself or Surreal will answer to that request and then we can set up if you want to have one of us do the repair for you or if you want us to do a repair guide and we'll try to get some parts and different phones so we can do that for you and I guess I will see you until the next video that I'm gonna record after this where we're gonna paint this puppy. Oh, and Surreal's computer. So, let's get to it.